In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to configure your Shapoko and also set the location of your bit setter. If this is something that you need to know or if that interests you, you're gonna to wanna to stick around. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with the 8 Timber and Pine. I recently updated my carbide motion to the most recent version, which is 613 as of July, 2023. And I had to reconfigure my whole Shapoko and reset the whole location of my bit setter. And this is different than the way that I showed you in some of my videos previously. So if you're in the previous versions of carbide motion, that may still be applicable, but in the most current version, 613, and maybe moving forward, it seems, the process is gonna be different. So let's just jump into carbide motion and let me show you the new process on how to do this. All right guys, so the very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the CNC is connected to your laptop. So you're going to connect the USB-B portion of the cable that is provided to you, or if you have an additional one, go ahead and connect the USB-B portion of that cable to the CNC. And then you're going to connect the USB-A side to the laptop or to your computer. Let's go ahead and go through the setup options so that you can configure your CNC. Go ahead and click on the setup new machine. Go ahead and click next. Click on the drop down menu, click on the correct Shapoko or Nomad. In this case, I am using a Shapoko 3. And what's really cool is they provide you some images here that you are able to take a look at and confirm that this is the correct selection. Once you have your CNC selected, go ahead and click next. Go ahead and click on connect to machine. If you're in a quiet room, if it's quiet in your garage, you should hear that your CNC just connected or just made a little sound. But you should also see here the connection is established. Go ahead and click on next. Next, we're gonna go ahead and click on the settings for our specific machine. Go ahead and click on the drop down menus and click on the appropriate options. I'm using a Shapoko 3 with a Z plus. My Shapoko size is the XXL. I'm gonna go ahead and click download after I've selected my options. Once these are all sent, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Now I'm going to initialize my machine for the very first time. Your machine should now go to the upper right hand corner of your CNC. Once it's done initializing, go ahead and click on next. Now we're gonna go ahead and test the motion of our CNC if you would like. Because the machine was just initialized, you're already all the way to the upper right hand corner max as far as it can go so that's why you don't have these options to move right anymore you can't move back and you can't move up so go ahead and click on these options here to just test your machine once you see that it is correctly moving go ahead and click on next here's a portion of the process that you want to follow to set up your bit setter in the previous version you were doing this separately first you were configuring your machine and then after configuration you were going to set up your bit setter now it's done at one time so go ahead and select enable bit setter once you enable bit setter go ahead and click on next now you're going to use these options here on your screen to manually move the location of your end mill you want to position your spindle above the center of the bit setter once you have that location set go ahead and click on save bit setter configuration once you've saved it go ahead and click on next now we're going to select the appropriate spindle setup. Go ahead and click on this drop down and go ahead and click on the appropriate option. I'm using the carbide compact router. I don't have a bit runner, so I'm not going to select this. So if you have the bit runner, you're probably going to select this here now. And I'm going to have this option selected. Show pop-ups on RPM change. Go ahead and click next. Go ahead and select the appropriate interface units. I'm going to select inches. I don't have a touchpad keyboard and I don't have remote access, so I'm not going to select any of these options. I'm going to save my changes and I'm going to click next. Now my machine is completely set up guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next video.